So today we're going to be looking at how long it takes to become a dentist and then how long does it take to specialize within dentistry once you've become a dentist. first step is actually getting into dental school. Now you need to make a UCAS application and um, this is going to involve your personal statement, it's going to involve your academic reference, you're going to be showing that you've been doing work experience and you're going to be showing your predicted grades, you're going to be having interviews um, with different dental schools and this whole journey is going to take you about 11 months um, with the defining point or defining points being um, the UCAS application deadline, uh, which tends to be the 15th of October at 6 p.m., um, as well as um, the dates of your, your interviews and then getting an acceptance um, from your chosen university. So that process there, that's gonna take about 11 months from October to starting dental school in the following year in September. So now that you've got into dental school, the next step is completing dental school. So you're gonna be having exams, you're gonna be having assignments, you're gonna be having clinical work, you're gonna be exposed to patients and uh, building up and developing all the skills that you need um, into becoming a dentist. So this process um, takes five years, five years of dental school. If you went through graduate entry, it takes four years, but um, five years um, of undergraduate training um, within dentistry to then get the BDS, the Bachelor of Dental Surgery, to secure the BDS. And at this point, you've graduated and you can now be called a dentist. So after you've graduated, you've got two options. You can go into private dentistry and start treating patients. Um, you may go on courses and develop further skills, or you may choose to do the dental foundation training pathway. Now in this pathway is 12 months long, and you have a supervisor who will help you and mentor you for a year. You'll have a lot of study days, um, a lot of time reflecting on your skills. And by the end of this, you get an NHS performer number. So you're able to treat to treat patients, NHS patients, um, for the rest of your career, um, as and when you wish. During the foundation year, you would apply for what's called dental core training. And this is done in the hospital. So this can be one, two, or three years. And through this process of dental core training, you would now be building up your CV to apply for specialist training. Now, it's a very competitive um, path to become a specialist. So um, dentists tend to spend two or three years in dental core training um, before they're accepted onto a specialist training pathway. So at this stage, you obtain a unique national training number and you're on the training pathway. This can be three to five years depending on the specialty pathway that you have chosen. So the training ends with the membership of exit exam. And you are now a specialist. You receive the certificate of completion of specialist training, and you are now registered as a specialist. You're seen by the General Dental Council, the GDC as a specialist, and you can start treating your patients as a specialist. So in all of this process, from that application deadline as an applicant, you know, on the 15th of October to becoming a specialist within dentistry, it's taken 12 to 14 years. Well, after your time in dental school, you'd have started to also earn. So you'd have been earning and learning as well. But 12 to 14 years, it's a big commitment. But if you find an area of dentistry that you love, then it's worth, the, it's worth the time. So I hope you were able to learn from that. 
it is a very big commitment to go into specialist specialist training and to become a specialist. Um, but if it's an area of dentistry you love, then why not? The one thing I would say is not to be overwhelmed by the number of years or the training pathway, but to take it one step at a time. And you never know. You might think that you're interested in one um, pathway and to become a specialist, but you might find that after dental school, you prefer a different specialism, or maybe you might not go through the specialist training path where you might just prefer um, to have a special interest um, because you love doing general dentistry. So um, don't close off any other um, things you might explore. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'd be interested to know if you were to specialize within dentistry, what area or what specialist pathway would you would you go for? Would you go into orthodontics? Would you go into endodontics? What would you choose? Put it down in the comments below and remember to subscribe.